Now, move-in day in Maryland does not happen until August the 23rd, but those early Terps walking around campus today are the first sampling of opinions of what's going on at College Park. Let's go back now downtown, uh, down to College Park, where WMAR 2 News, Abby Isaacs. What did you hear today, Abby? Well, students are shocked and concerned after recent allegations of a toxic culture within the University of Maryland football team. It's been a quiet summer day here on campus. Most people, either new students, potential students, or part-time students who haven't been following the investigation closely. But those who are say they're concerned for the well-being of the student-athletes and will continue to support the team in their upcoming season. It's not... Our players' fault, it's not our team's fault. I think it's an unfortunate circumstance that they felt that they couldn't speak out about it. They're students like us. They expect to go and play the sport that they love, and if they're just getting bullied, like, how is that going to make a successful team? As soon as they, like, are able to get new leadership in place and move past this scandal, which is obviously a bad look for the team and for the university, but once they're able to get new leadership, I will still support the team. Students also got an email from President Lowe recently detailing the latest in the investigation also laid out at the press conference earlier today. Now some students agreeing with the administration that an in-depth investigation is necessary and above all they want to make sure that Jordan McNair's legacy lives on at the school. Live in College Park, Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News.